it's hard to miss the fact that they selected men to play indoor volleyball and women to play beach volleyball. I guess they wanted to see those pixelated bikinis. Hello and welcome back to Yes Guy Gaming, and we're back with another episode of Every Volleyball Game. And on this episode, we're going to take a look at one that's a little bit familiar, but not super familiar. I wanted to touch on this series because I didn't do a Let's Play of I didn't play it, but I did check it out on the channel. Um, so again, if you guys have any more that you want to see, uh, I've got a big list I'm compiling. If you have any, I listen, I'm going to get to all of them. We're kind of trying to go in chronological order here a little bit, trying to combine them all together. We're getting to some of the newer ones, some of the good stuff. So stay patient. Today though, we're talking about Dig and Spike Volleyball. So this game is a pretty interesting one. It's for the Super Nintendo and uh, my cousins actually have this uh, the cartridge of this and play this all, all the time. Um, I when I back when I reviewed this game, I never really figured out how to play or be any good. It was very frustrating. Um, but as you can see, you control the back defense players to kind of dig up when the attack's there. You can choose who to set um, and take some swings. So this is kind of like the, the precursor to women's volleyball championship, except, you know, the ball lands for an ace all the time for no reason. Um, this game also had some beach volleyball um, to it as well, which was, you know, pretty frustrating as well. Um, I think a lot of people have played this and enjoyed it in the past, but uh, I don't know. I, I don't know that it's as good as Hyper V-Ball or some of the other power, the power spikes games that were out on the 2D plane. You know, trying to go 3D with this on the Super Nintendo, uh, with the weird camera and things and the, the tips often scoring um, was just not. I, I I don't think it was as fun as some of the other games, but I know that there's some people out there who remember this one pretty fondly. So uh, why don't we throw it back to myself and I'll, I'll show some clips from the review. If you haven't seen the review, hit that link in the description. It's down there. Um, you can check it out. I talk a lot more about this game. I'm pretty harsh with it, if I'm being honest. If I have to look back, I probably was maybe a little bit too harsh with it, um, but I think there was some fair criticism there. Either way, check it out. Here, the that. It all comes down to this. Match point. I've worked my whole life for this moment. It's my time. Let's do it! Huh. Yes, guy! Dig and Spike Volleyball was released way back in 1993 for the Super Nintendo Entertainment Console. Now, I don't usually do this, but let's just take a look at the cover really quick. So, you've got this guy who's going up to pound it against a couple of girls, and even his partners there going, No, dude, don't do it, man, no, don't! Ah. On the indoor volleyball side, you can pick from one of eight men's teams, um, I guess that they randomly selected from the 1992 Olympic Games. On the beach volleyball side, though, beach volleyball wasn't technically in the Olympics yet when this game was made, so I guess the developers just based a bunch of women's teams off some hot chicks that they saw down at the beach. Bombers? Shadows? Spikers? Like, what? what is this? It's hard to miss the fact that they selected men to play indoor volleyball and women to play beach volleyball. I guess they wanted to see those pixelated bikinis. much more fun to play, get a friend and play versus mode together, um, trying to outweigh each other, run different plays, way more fun than the World Cup. Um, but passing and digging are near impossible. Let's break down one of these rallies just to, just to, let me show you what the problem here is. So this rally perfectly exemplifies exactly what I'm talking about with the passing and digging. So here the serve comes up and then right here is the first time you see where the ball is going to land. From there you have this much time to react. That's exactly one second to react to that. So you can just do it. So I managed to pass this ball up, I shanked it. My partner manages to scramble and we just get it over. But now we're on defense, we've got to try to dig the ball up here. So up goes their attack and that's again the first time we see where the ball is going to land. And we have exactly that much time. To be specific, that's 15 hundredths of a second to react to where the ball is going to go. Of course, I can't manage it in that time and the ball lands down and they win the rally. 
Yeah, that's some retro Yes Guy gaming right there. Yeah. Um, thanks, Garrett, for that insightful review. Um, that'll do it for this episode, guys. I know it's maybe a little bit of a shorter one. I, I know these episodes vary in length, but uh, I'm trying to get through all these games um, so that I can try to complete this series. It's a bit of a journey. I want to get to them all. And there's some ones that I know are going to have some longer playthroughs, like ones I may need to use an emulator to get at or some of the newer games we're going to spend a little bit more time with than some of these older ones, which are quite simple. So. Um, again, if you, there's one you want to see, let me know. I would love to hear that. Thank you for all the comments. Um, I will get to International Volleyball 2009. I promise. It's on my list. I've, I've figured out how to get it. Don't worry. We'll get to that. Um, and, but any others, please let me know. There's already been a few that a few of you have commented that I didn't have on my list. So you made it happen. So thank you. Um, but anyway, that'll do it for this episode, guys. So thank you so much for watching. And we hope to see you next time on Yes Guy Gaming.